Hey everyone, welcome back to Self to Sell. My name is Heem, this is Nick, and we're doing another Trivia Tuesday today. So um, this week's topic is cell organelles. So a little bit of basic biology, but how do you feel about cell organelles? Um, I haven't taken Gen Bio since 2018, but <laughs> luckily I did take a cellular biology class um, this last spring semester in undergrad. So hopefully I can reach back, you know, into my memory box and, you know, pull some worldies out, get, to, get that information back out. But how we're setting it up today, um, he and I are actually going to take um, kind of two different quizzes in a way yep. um, and kind of compete against one another. So we have two quizzes. Um, the first quiz is 13 questions and the second quiz is seven questions. So I'm going to take the first 10 questions of the first quiz and that will be my score. And then he will then do the last three questions, and then the seven, the seven questions. So um, we each get 10. We each get 10, and we're going to see how we do. So I'm going to go first. Yeah, so get, get out, out of here. Get out of your way, Nick. Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> this is weird being on here by myself. <laughs> I've never done this before. All right. So we'll put everything in the link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's pretty easy. It takes like two seconds. Please just help us out. We have fun doing this, and we hope that you know, the 50 people who might watch this, or maybe the 15 people who might watch this, or the five people who might watch this actually enjoy it. So just let us know. Let us know. So, um, all right, we're going to take this pro profs quizzes. Like I said, it'll be in the description. So the first question is, which organelle creates ATP energy for a cell? <laughs> Should I read out the... I guess, I guess I can read it out. Is it A, chloroplast, B, mitochondria... C, the ribosomes, or D, the nucleus. So it's the mitochondria. It's B. Like, that's a pretty easy one. But I was going to say that chloroplast might trick some people because plants are the only things that have chloroplast, right? You know, but they also have mitochondria, which some people just kind of, like, overlook. But, like, the plants capture the energy. The mitochondria makes the energy. So it's mitochondria. I'm going to submit my answer. And that is correct. I'm going to go to the next one. Should I read them to you? No, I can do it. Okay. It's easy. Yeah. Right. I think it'll be easier just because it's all right in front of me. Yeah. Okay. Just as we talked about them, what is the function of chloroplast? Is it A, makes sugar from sunlight, B, creates energy for the cell, C, holds DNA, or D, is used for storage? This one's like... You, that cell organelles would be easy, huh? Nah, it's not that bad. <laughs> I'm going to go with makes sugar from sunlight. Because chloroplasts take the sunlight, use the wavelengths and the electrons and the photons to create a, a not a proton gradient, but there's the Krebs cycle and the Kelvin cycle. Not the Kelvin cycle. The dark, the dark cycle. Mm -hmm. they, can only do, they can only do photosynthesis during the day, and they have the Kelvin cycle during the night, which is the dark cycle. But that creates sugar for the mitochondria to use to break down the different groups, create an electron gradient or a proton gradient, and then it makes ATP. So I'm going with A, it makes sugar from sunlight. I'm going to submit my answer, and that is also correct. I'm nice. two for two. Two for two. Yay. <laughs> Happy day. All right. Plant cells and animal cells both possess this organelle. It is used to store water and food. Is it A, the nucleus, B, the mitochondria, C, a vacuole, or D, a cytoplasm? By process of elimination, it's going to be C, a vacuole. Um, but the nucleus stores DNA. Mitochondria is the Krebs cycle. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Don't tell me to look at the camera. I'm thinking. And then cytoplasm makes the sugar. Or not cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is what holds everything in the cell. So it's a vacuole. That is also correct. Nice. Three for three. Three for three. All right. We're going to start crushing through these. So what are the most important parts of chromosomes? Hmm. What? Weird question. That is a weird question. Is it A, DNA, B, protein, C, lipids, or D, carbohydrates? The most important part of a chromosome is going to be the DNA. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's pretty, that's pretty straightforward. That is correct. Four for four. Four for four. Killing it. All right, question number five. 
which description best fits the cell membrane? Is it A, transparent, B, rigid for, rigid for support, C, thick and waxy, or D, semi-permeable? It is semi-permeable. We have semi-permeable membranes. We have all these different um, like protein channels and things that allow things to come in and out of the cell um, and that kind of fun stuff. So I'm going with D, semi-permeable, and that is correct. I'm nice. five for five. Thomas Moore did a really good job at teaching me about my organelles. Yeah, you know your stuff. All right. I mean, number six. <laughs> Which of the following organelles do animal cells have? Is it A, chloroplast, B, a cell wall, C, chlorophyll, or D, mitochondria? This is kind of a trick question because plants have all these, but what? Why are you looking at me like that? Plants have mitochondria also? I literally talked about it in the first question. Oh, my God. Because the chloroplast makes the sugars, and then the mitochondria breaks Jeez. it down. Okay. But animals don't have chloroplast cell wall or chlorophyll, so it is mitochondria. We have those. We wouldn't survive without them. Question number seven. What is the function of the nucleus? Is it A, storage of, for nutrients? B, control center for the cell. D, it makes energy, or, or C, it makes energy. D, it photosynthesizes. When I read this question initially, I like already had the answer in my head, but uh -huh. it did not match what they said. But it's the control center for the cell. Yeah. It holds all the DNA. It's all the instruction for the cell. So, question number seven. Seven for seven. Hell yeah. Seven for seven. For... Heck yeah. Heck yeah. It's okay. All right. Number eight, what is the nutritious goo or gel-like substance inside cells called? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> nutri nutri nutritious goo. I've never heard... Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what nutritious goo is. Nutritious goo or gel-like substance. I already know what it is. So the, the options are chloroplast, nucleus, cytoplasm, or... Cello Jello. <laughs> what an what what an option. I'm tempted just to pick Cello Jello just to be wrong because it's a great name. Yeah. Like scientists have an opportunity every day when they discover something new to call something like a fun name and they just don't. Like they they just don't. Cello Jello would be awesome. You know how many more kids in high school biology would remember what the cytoplasm is if you call it Cello Jello? Okay, well, it's cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is the right answer. See. Sticky goo? Yeah, that is the nutritious goo oh, in nutritious all of our cells. I think it's just because it holds a bunch of, like, nutrients and, you know. But I didn't know it was nutritious. I knew it was gooey, right? It had, well, it has, like, a bunch of stuff diffused into it. Right. So, like, there are, like, free-floating, like, glucoses and, like, there's free-floating... Um, like hydrogens and protons and all that kind of stuff that the cell can just like reach and pick as it goes through all of its processes. All right, question number nine. This isn't going, felt like it's going quick, but it's going really well, I think. I'm, I'm eight for eight, right? Yeah, you're eight for I'm eight. eight for eight. All right, where does photosynthesis happen? Is it A, chloroplast, B, ribosomes, C, mitochondria, or D, vacuoles? It is A, chloroplast. I want a ribosome question. I think ribosomes are so cool. Right. And they're, they're so important. That is correct. Chloroplast is correct. Again, we make sugars from there. Or we don't make sugars. Plants make sugars from there. That's how they survive. All right. Ooh, this has five answers. Ooh. Ooh, and this is the last question for me. Uh -oh. So maybe it's a challenging one. So animal cells do not have A, chloroplast, B, cell walls. C, a square shape. Huh? It's like a square shape, which is stupid. C, or D, a large central vacuole. Or E, they have none of the above. And I'm going with E, they have none of the above. Because plants have a large central vacuole because it's what they use to store water over time. Mm -hmm. And usually when a plant's going through drought and they droop, it's because those vacuoles actually aren't filled, so the cell walls actually like shrink, which causes their form to fall. Fun fact for you today. So they have none of the above. Submit my answer. 
That is correct. So I went 10 for 10. Um, honestly, it was a pretty easy quiz. I enjoyed it. We're going to see how Heem fares oh, God. with his last three questions. I hope he gets some really hard ones yeah. because he picked out these quizzes. So, Hey, but it's all organelles, you know? Yeah. We're regenerative medicine students. We can't... We, we should know our cell organelles exactly. at least. Exactly. So, all right, he take it away. Thank you. All right, Nick did a really good job there. Um, 10 for 10. The pressure is on me. He had, a bo he had both animal and plant uh, organelles, which is a little bit difficult. All right. Question 11. Uh, what organelle is this? And it's... Looks... It doesn't look like a vacuole because a vacuole would be... It's just know, for storage of water, and this has squiggly lines, so that uh, increases the surface area of things, and I think that it's is actually... It's called Criste. Yeah, it's called Criste, and um, I think it's a mitochondria. So I'm going to go for mitochondria, submit my answer. That's right. And one for one. Start. Off to a good start. All right. Another picture. We have um, question 12. These are animal cells. The dark lines show the vacuoles. These are animal cells. The dark lines show the cell walls. These are plant cells. The dark lines show the vacuoles. And these are plant cells. The dark lines show the cell walls. So the dark lines are not vacuoles. Dark circles would be. Um, but I think in this case, those dark circles are actually nucleuses. And animal cells don't have cell walls. So it has to be a plant cell, and the dark lines are cell walls. That's correct. That was a little bit of a tricky one, I'll admit. So two for two. All right, last question is another picture. Uh, which of the following organelles is shown above? It's either a vacuole, nucleus, chloroplast, or mitochondria. And like we know, mitochondria have the cristae, nucleus have our DNA, vacuoles store water and things, so this is our chloroplast because it has uh, thylakoids, lumen, uh, granum, and all those things which are properties of chloroplast. Submit my answer. Damn. Three for three. All right. Okay. Going on to our next quiz, seven questions, multiple choice cell organelle quiz. All right. Wouldn't you just like play Jeopardy? Oh, I'd love to play Jeopardy. I would love to play Jeopardy. It'd be fun to like do like a science, like when I watch Jeopardy and like play against my friends, it's fun only because when the science category comes up, yeah. I just like dominate it. Yeah, you dominate it. And it's fun, but they dominate me like history and everything. See, the but thing like an all science Jeopardy would be a lot of fun. That would be fun. And it's kind of like, it's so niche too because of like all of us are science backgrounds. So it's like some person's better at developmental. Right. Other exactly. person's better at genetics. Exactly. All right. Good idea. We'll do that for another episode. Yeah, that would be, that would be <laughs> we can do Jeopardy Tuesdays. Jeopardy That would be a lot of work, but that would be a lot of fun. It would be fun. So. And we need more people. We could, we, we, know, could, we know people. We could do a game show. We could totally do a game show. How fun would that be? In here with like couches and stuff. We already steal a table. <laughs> I'm going to get a couch in here. <laughs> All right. Oh, question yeah, yeah, one yeah. of the question second quiz. One. Or you're, so you're three for three right now. Yeah. About to go, or you're going to attempt to go four for four. Yeah. And you're going to finish out this quiz. Yeah. So what's the first question on this quiz? All right. Which organelle removes substances or contains substances brought into the cell? Ribosomes, nucleus, Golgi vacuole. I think it's a Golgi. The Golgi is responsible for transporting thing. Which organelle removes substances or contains substances brought into the cell? I think it's... It's not Golgi, it's vacuole? Vacuole? I think. I'm not helping you. I'm not helping you. I'm going to say Golgi. I'm going to win. Oh, it's vacuole. Oh, I'm 11 for 11. Wait, doesn't the Golgi do the transporting and stuff? Golgi is responsible for packaging and sending things out to the cell. Vacuoles will take it in and out because you have to have a place. Like when you're sending something out, 
you know, in the extracellular uh, space, you have to have something to protect that or else it's just going to get eaten up or denatured. Yeah, or yeah. So. I was thinking about it in a weird way. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Nick won already. Okay, both plant and animal cells have a cell membrane. Yes. Is it true or false? True. True or false? I think true. True. Yeah. Yeah. Only plants have cell walls also. Okay, this is a fill in the blank. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. The plant cell is different than the animal cell in that it has a blank that surrounds the cell. Wall. Cell wall. That, I'll count. We'll that, count. Yeah, that's we'll right. Count that. That's right. The cell wall. What is the name of this organelle? It's another picture. It's either vacuole, endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, or cell membrane, and that's the ER, endoplasmic reticulum, because it has all the ribosomes on them, and is right next to this uh, nucleus. Correct. But there's also smooth ER that doesn't have ribosomes. Okay, so this is a video question. A video question? <laughs> Okay. Okay, I think you... Do you have... Is it like multiple choice? No, it's fill in the blank. Oh, Lord. What organelle is helping the chromosomes split in the mitos mitosis process? Uh, spindle fibers. Or... What organelle? What helps, was the question? What organelle is helping the chromosomes split in the mitosis process? So I think those are the things that are on the poles that send their fibers and then that help split the chromosomes. I thought they were called spindle fibers. The, they are the stuff that connects to the chromosomes. Centrioles? Centrioles. Centrioles. Yeah. Correct. Wow. I even spelled it right. You know what? I'm going to give you two points for that. Two points for that? Because one, <laughs> that's a, just a tough, that's tougher than... All ten of my questions combined. Oh, and two, let's go. And two, it was a video question, and he didn't even watch the video. So, you are you are given <laughs> bonus points on that. I uh, this this can't end in a tie though. What we're we gonna have to rock paper scissors it out at the end. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Fine. Question six. Lysosomes are round sacs that contain powerful enzymes used to break down foreign bodies. True. True. Lysosomes. They're not vacuoles. They kind of do the same thing, but they have powerful enzymes in them. That's uh, true. And my last question, another fill in the blank. This this quiz this quiz is a little bit harder. This could def well next next Tuesday I will take the harder quiz. Okay. We'll review them and I'll take the harder one. Simple substances that are broken down to provide energy in the organelle. Simple substances that are broken down. To provide energy. I like an answer in my head about. In know. the organelle. What organelle? Is there <laughs> a picture? In the organelle. Um, nutrients. No, not nutrients. Right. Simple substances. Carbs. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking like carbohydrates. Carbohydrates or sugars. Okay, I'll say sugars. Mitochondria. Oh. Simple substances that are broken down to provide energy in the organelle. So it's not the name of the simple substances. It's the name of the thing that breaks it down. Oh. That question was worded very weird. You know what? In the end, I still lost. That's crazy. So... What I got a eight out of ten. Nick got a ten out of ten. You want to come back in the frame? Yeah. See, in the industry of regenerative medicine or in science, biology, life sciences in general, knowing all these things kind of adds on to each other because they all play part in um, how the cell communicates and functions. Yeah. Yeah. I it's biology is always going to be building on, on itself, right? Once a new discovery is made, someone's going to figure out how to apply that to a different place and, and tweak it a little bit. And that's just kind of how science progresses. Um, but it's always good to go back and re kind of trace your roots 
of biology and just make sure you get a little a little refresher because it's important. Like it's one thing to understand that. You know, everybody says mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Great, you watch Friends, okay? Mm-hmm. But understanding, you know, it's one thing to know that mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, but it's another thing to understand that that's where, you know, sugars are broken down after glycolysis and they go through the Krebs cycle and they use the electron transport chain, you know, to create a proton gradient that has an ATP synthase that, you know, spins and it makes ATP. Mm-hmm. You know, like that, that's where you really get into like the importance of these organelles and how, you know, muscle cells have way more organelles or have way more mitochondria than say, I don't know. Fat or. Fat, yeah. Fat, I mean, fat doesn't have any organelles. It's just, it's just a nucleus, which is interesting. But, you know, it, it's, a, it's nice to go back and get a, a, like a refresher, but I think we're going to wind up doing Jeopardy. I think I think that that would be a great idea. I think that would definitely kind of spice it up a little bit on these trivia Tuesdays because we've, you know, we've gone through and we found some like quizzes for regenerative medicine that have been really hard or really easy, and they've been enjoyable. And hopefully, when you're watching, you enjoy them. And I hope you go and take them. I hope you go and take them before you watch us, um, and you know, just kind of try it out yourself. But. This Trivia Tuesday concept is a really good idea, and I think that bringing in a couple students each time, <laughs> and, you know, we Absolutely. host and write questions, and, you know, I don't know. We don't have money to give out. But if we could wind up giving away money, or just fun points, I think that that would definitely be helpful. But how do we sneak a TV in here? Oh, we have a TV. Yeah. I wonder how we can use that. We can definitely hook up one of our computers and just... Ask or see questions on there. So. Yeah. That's so, not half anyway. a bad idea. No, it's the, I, I don't think it's a half bad idea at all. <laughs> and we're actually using the studio. No one uses it. No studio. one uses this place. It's a, it's a great place to record. But all right, we're just, we're just talking. So, Kim, do you have anything else for this episode? It was a great Trivia Tuesday. I, I like the concept of a little bit of competition. Uh, it really got us thinking. It was nice to kind of reach back into the pockets to gen bio and cell biology because sometimes when we're up here studying all these new therapies you know you forget the basics and like the con like you know the basic concepts so all right well got anything um that's all for me all right well thank you guys for watching today um this has been cells to cell i'm nick and that's him so have a good one guys see you guys